What's up everyone, Tech Cloud here and in this video I'm going to show you the benchmark scores of uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I'm going to show you the six benchmarks, so let me show you first uh, the two browser benchmarks. First one is the JavaScript Sun Spider and as you can see it has scored uh, 589 millisecond and I have uh, ran this benchmark for the first time that one was close to 575 and this one is 589 so it will be it will score somewhere in, uh, in the range of 550 to 600 and the other benchmark that I have uh, tested is the browser <coughs> right where browser benchmark and uh, it has reset anyways uh, I have actually a screenshot available of that uh, benchmark let me show you that one yeah it does score actually 3191 and the first time I ran on this one it was uh, more than 3200 and it shows that it's, uh, it's the browser is superior to 99% of all phone browsers so this is without any modifications or anything all these benchmarks are right out of the box so you can compare these results uh, with others obviously I am using a screenshot I can compare now but I believe uh, I think the iPhone 5s uh, scores a little bit higher we will see in some other videos uh, that how much iPhone 5 scores okay the next next benchmark that I want to show is the geek benchmark so these are the scores that I got uh, when I ran this one and you will get uh, somewhere in between uh, these scores every time when you run this benchmark the score will be different so this is the geek benchmark score as you can see this is a single core and this is a multi core and it runs uh, uh, I mean yeah that's the score I got here the next one I like to show is the N22 benchmark and I got uh, 3600 103 with an A plus so because uh, this is one of the top 10 scores so that's why they wrote uh, A plus and uh, let me show you the details this is the multitasking score CPU RAM GPU and the IO scores so actually it performs uh, really well on uh, this benchmark as well as on the others let me show you the chart as well this is the chart and as you can see the HTC one and uh, S4 are below over here so I will like to show you a few more benchmarks so let me show you the base uh, base mark results as well uh, you will get uh, off screen uh, around uh, 15.69 uh, frames per second and on screen you will get 17.65 frames per second and uh, the other benchmarks that I will like to show is the the 3d benchmark which is I ran the, this benchmark uh, three times because there are three tests available iStrom, iStrom Extreme and iStrom Unlimited so let me show you the results the first two were maxed out and the iStrom uh, <clears throat> score is 18,345 so I ran this uh, benchmark only three times and that's what the score I got and this that's an excellent score if you compare with any other uh, device and in the chart uh, they have probably th this is the maximum score I believe so yeah I can go to device central yeah this is the best score in the 3d benchmark scores the uh, last one I would like to show is the GFX uh, benchmark I've already ran uh, this benchmark and this is the 2.7 uh, uh, T-Rex HD off screen 26 frames on screen also 26 frames and this is the Egypt 2.5 uh, 2.5 uh, GFX benchmark 2.5 Egypt HD this is off screen 68 fr uh, frames per second and on screen 53 frames per second so as you can see this uh, device is uh, getting very high benchmarks and obviously the processor inside is quite a powerful processor and uh, it is doing a pretty good job in that regard. 
so that's pretty much it i hope uh, that you have liked the video and uh, press the like button if you like it and subscribe for more useful videos i will be making uh, some comparison videos between this and sony xperia z ultra as well as iphone 5s so stay tuned for that including the uh, browser speed app loading speeds and other comparisons see you bye